huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great. It was just over a month ago at Ides of March. The ladies' 30-woman battle royal came down to just Mia Yim and Sophie Spartan of X10. And Sophie got the win, won the contract briefcase, and she said then it wouldn't be long before she cashed out. And here we are tonight with Susie Campbell, Pam Parsons, and Jay Coop, Jessica Cooper defending their WL Ladies Tag Trio Championships against Angie, Rosita, and Sophie, Next Gen. And what a title match this one is gonna be. One fall, 30 minutes. Who's leaving Chicago with the gold? We'll know really soon. Corey, what do you think of the champ chances here tonight? I love them. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. And her confidence level certainly seems off the charts right now. Of course she's confident, Michael. She's the champ. That means she's the absolute best. If that doesn't give you confidence, I don't know what will. For a mighty long time, Cherylyn Fontaine, LP. Thunder and Eureka Hero were ladies tag trio champs until Team Nuclear came along last year. And Susie Noops, patriotic Pam Parsons, and Jay Coop couldn't be times up for Team Noops tonight against the extremely popular next gen. That's a question only these six women can answer. This should be interesting, guys, as six of WWE's top names square off here. Let me jump in here, Byron. I think I see a couple of former Chicago enforcers sitting ringside. How great is that? And a powerful slam down onto the back. Well-executed drop kick. She gets her with a vicious chop. What is in Campbell's mind right now? It's not every night that she's looking at this kind of competition in there. What would your strategy be in a match like this? No matter what the odds are or what type of match we're talking about, it's all awesome to me. Three on three, why not? Have at it. I gotta tell you, she looks part of a triumvirate that looks ready to win. And by looking at their opponents, it's evident that they have other ideas on the subject. I think the word you were looking for is triumvirate. with a suplex that shot was perfect if you get hit with a lot more of those getting nailed once turns into a full-scale beating <laughs> takes her out with a German suplex Sending a message. What power. What a slam. What damage. What a brutal way to take someone off their feet. You got to be kidding me. A thunderous spine buster.
She's licking her chops. She's not too anxious to get up. I think Parsons is showing signs of fatigue. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Hey, when you put six of the most competitive women on the roster today in the same ring at the same time, somebody's going to get hurt. And it just so happens to be her. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. Now Robertson's not looking good here. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. Well, it would be crazy to expect her to go through this entire match without taking on some punishment. I don't even think Saxton thought that would happen. Guys, this is where all that self-respect she has pays off. Sure, she's taken on some offense, but she's confident enough in her game to bounce back. That was like a rocket. showing some acrobatic expertise here. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Cooper starting to struggle. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on, think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. Great move. Taken out with a Russian leg sweep. She just will not let up. And a powerful forearm. She's got her. Now there's the counter. What an amazing display of athleticism. Got the reversal. She's in control. Plenty of force behind that leg drop. And there's the tag, Campbell into the ring. And now she's on the offensive. Nobody home for that one. No kidding, there weren't even any lights on. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Two. Three. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She got her with a reversal. Four. Bringing it back into the ring. She hits her with a wicked elbow. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got her... She comes up with a slam. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. She's looking at it early. She's got her in her sights. 
She's looking at it. And she lands the slam. That's what makes her so dangerous. She's going for the cover. She's got something in mind. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Look at her go. She might have it. She comes up with a slam. Wow, what a move. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Reversal for her there. And she comes up with a big counter. Acrobatics like that do more than just frustrate opponents. Eaton is tagged in. Needs to make it to the look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Looks like Eaton's starting to stumble. She really needs to think about making a tag, guys. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. These matches require a slightly altered game plan. This might be where his opponent pulls away, though. Part of me thinks he's got vertical suplex. Nice. It, is that it? Is it over? Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. She can end it here. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. I think she's trying to prove a point here. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Cooper's starting to stammer a little. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. How her opponent is still in this match after taking two of her finishers is beyond me. You have to give her a lot of credit. This might be where his opponent pulls away, though. Part of me thinks he's got too much pride in his game to let this one get too out of hand. Not going to win many matches with that move. She counters with a move of her own. No reverses it. Struggling to get up right here. Tough spot to be in at this point, Michael. She is on fire. She's looking at it. There it is, the Uranagi. She has got to take advantage here. She's got the shoulders down. She got her with the drop kick. She's got her where she wants her. We know what's coming here. And she lands the slam. Game, set, match. This one is over. And this has got to be it. Eaton 
Orton is tagged in. Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what she's been through here tonight. She might have it. She comes up with a slam. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. It could be over here. She's calling her out. She's looking at it. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. That's it. That's what she needed. What a six-man tag match. there before finally picking up the win. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. Man, oh man alive, the fans in Chicago on their feet for next gen, and this long, long overdue victory for Angie Rosita and Sophie, who've been chasing these belts for a very long time, and now, at long last, next gen are once again, Ladies Division Tag Trio Champions, 